Cooper Galleries is pleased to welcome renowned watercolorist and printmaker Jane Goldman. The Texas native has exhibited worldwide and her art appears in many public and private collections. Jane currently resides in Massachusetts and is a partner in Mixed Print Studio in Somerville, which fosters a supportive collaborative environment for printmakers. Prints and select watercolors from Jane's recent Audubon suite will be featured in Goldman and Lee, Shadow and Color, the inaugural exhibit at Brummer Gallery, opening November 1st. Jane, the natural world has inspired your art in landscape and tidal pool watercolors. In your Watercolor Bird series, you add inspiration from the books of John James Audubon. What prompted you to combine books with nature? Well, this series pays homage to my love of books. I've been an avid reader since the age of four and to the work of Audubon, who um, has been a, a favorite artist of mine forever, uh, mostly because he makes such aesthetically pleasing images. But also, he's a keen observer of nature. He's one of the first um, people who wrote about um, ecology in this country. He's a naturalist, and of course, a watercolor is extraordinaire. Um, in terms of books and nature, from the sea creatures in my terrazzo installations at Logan Airport to my paintings of tidal pools and birds, flora and fauna are what intrigue me in subjects. Audubon painted 435 watercolors for his books. In June 2018, the oversized folio edition in four volumes sold for more than $9 million at auction. Were his watercolors a green light for your own? If I thought I could sell them for that, I think they would have been. <laughs> However, um, I've been painting watercolors for decades. It's really my medium of choice for thinking. Um, I love it because um, it's the art of visualizing colored light and manipulating gravity for luminous effect. It's the luminosity and the transparency that I'm really hooked on. And um, my Audubon suite is comprised of 14 prints, eight screen prints, and eight hand-painted hand pigment prints. It documents a year's passing months of seasons, um, in which each image is a Audubon bird paired with um, flora from that season. Audubon had the bird specimens stuffed and placed in natural settings, which he then painted. You placed your 14 birds in the settings of books and prints. Would you talk about your decision? I have an abiding interest in making still lives, making a little world composed of objects bathed in light and shadow. And flowers and books are part of my daily existence. I see them everywhere I look in my home and studio. What I love about still life is it creates an opportunity for a contemplative experience where both I and the viewer are invited to ponder the mysteries of existence. Light defines objects, casts shadows, unify objects in the here and now with the 19th century Audubon image past and present seamlessly occupy the same timeless space. It's the timelessness of it that, that grabs me. Um, and I think making still lifes uh, turn painters into philosophers. Uh, I make art to dream and paradoxically to wake up. Uh, I'd like to say a word about light. I grew up in Dallas, which is a city on a prairie as flat as a pancake, where the sky dominates the landscape. My response to the visual world was, was formed growing up in that place of light and air and flatness and the sky took on a, 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 an oversized element of importance. And I think that's why I'm fascinated by the interplay of light and shadow and uh, how light and shadow in my work create psychological meaning. The overall effect of light and shadow in your Audubon series is especially striking. Please describe the process for creating these prints and how your process leads to that overall aesthetic. Well, these prints are, eight of them are screen prints, which is not unlike when you make a t-shirt for your sports team, except much more elaborate and sophisticated. Um, each screen is hand-drawn by me and um, printed with very transparent ink. So 
sometimes there's 70 overlays of color creating the image. I always start with a watercolor and then figure how I'm going to make the screen prints. It's a lot like playing chess because you have X number of printing days to, to finish the print. The other uh, six prints are hand colored pigment prints and that means we take a high uh, standard rep uh, reproduction of one of my watercolors which I finished to about 80 percent I'd say and then we make an addition of that and then I hand color on each piece to finish it and one thing I like about it is it mirrors the way the Audubon prints were made because as you probably know he made a watercolor he sent them to his publisher the publisher um, had artists do the linear work and then they were all hand colored so there's an element that um, mimics the hand coloring in his prints. Um, these prints have been made with the um, publisher Stewart and Stewart Fine Arts and they're in um, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan and we've been making prints together since 1983. And um, what I like about working with these highly skilled printers and publishers are they are very sensitive to um, preserving the artist's hand. So um, I feel like my screen prints um, really look like my watercolors. There's, um, they're informed by them, they're printed like them, and overlays a very transparent color, and they simply result in a print that um, reflects my own style and my painterly hand.